So here we have, here we have the first piece of internet equipment ever installed in the internet. At that time it was called a packet switch. It's now called a router. And it's the size of a telephone booth. It's military hardened. It was made out of a computer, a Honeywell DDP 516, which was a modern com mini computer at the time. BBNN, Bolt Bavanek and Newman, the company that got the contract to implement the network, they chose this machine. They modified the hardware, modified the software, and produced this packet switch and delivered it to us on the Labor Day weekend of 1969. You notice up here, it says IMP number one, UCLA. It's a terrific machine. You can dial up any register you want to look at. You can see what's going on in the register. You can change what's going on in the register. Inside this machine, it is so ugly, it's beautiful. I, it's, it's, it's a dear friend of mine. What are some of these things? Well, for example, this is the CPU. We have power supply. We have modem interface units. We have storage. It's all huge technology compared to what we have today. Uh, any cell phone is enormously more capable today than this big machine. Um, in fact, here is the headphone. You remember I told you that Charlie Klein had a telephone connection between him and the program up north. Well, this is the telephone they used. It really looks old, and it is old, because what it was, it was plugged into this machine, and it derived a telephone connection out of the data lines we were using. The data lines was basically a collection of many smaller data lines ganged together, and the speed of that first link between UCLA and SRI was a blazing 50 kilobits per second the same speed that you get in the lowest level DSL that you can ha have today. In fact, the lowest level dial-up modem, 50 kilobits per second. It was the original speed of the Trio that came out 35 years later. But it, in those days, it was very high speed. And this is an example of the kind of technology we were using. But it did the job, and it proved the technology. And so these switches continue to improve, higher speed, more functionality, much more storage, and run today's internet. So this is essentially the first router. The first router, exactly. It's the first router. And they were going to throw this machine away, and I managed to salvage it. And here it is right next to my office. And you notice it's, here it is in, in a small office next to mine. It's, it's not heralded, it's not in a showcase, and it should be a shrine for this country. And it will become one shortly, but at the moment, and for the last 39 years, it's been kept in, in hiding, if you will. Which is a great shame, but that's going to change. How's it changing? Well, we're going to put it in a showcase at the entrance of one of the newer buildings in engineering. You know, the Smithsonian wanted this machine. And I offered it to them in 1989. In 1989, they said no. That was before the web occurred. In 1994, they asked for it, and I said, no, you can't have it. We need it here at UCLA. And so there's been a battle between the Computer History Museum, the Smithsonian, and UCLA. But my feeling is this belongs at UCLA, because that's where it all began. That's where it all began.